Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to cover. Here we will show you how to load JSON data into DynamoDB from S3 using Lambda function. So let's dive right in it. To load JSON data into DynamoDB, we need to have few things in place. We need to have a S3 bucket where we upload our JSON data. Second, we need to have a DynamoDB table with the necessary schema. To save our time, uh, we have already created the bucket and DynamoDB and I can show you. So if we go in S3, our table is data tech demo 22. It's empty for now. And if we go to DynamoDB, and click on tables. So we already have a table named car plate number info where partition key is the license number and the reason for keeping the partition key is the license number because the data we are going to load into this has license, no, license number key uh, as a key value attribute and it is a unique which can identify each record in the JSON. Let's have a quick look into that. So this is our data. Here you can see that license number, which is, uh, is a unique um, identifier for each records or each items you can say. And we have a bunch of other informations related to entity, entity number, telephone number, address, some geolocation type of car, date, time kind of information. And we're going to upload this into our S3 and we're going to write a function in Lambda from where once we upload this file into S3, it will load this data into DynamoDB. And now I want to show you something in DynamoDB. This is an empty table. Let me show this. If we open the table, click on explore items. And if you go down, there is no items here, like zero items. And it says click create items. Okay. Now let's create the Lambda function to load this DynamoDB table. Let's go to services, Lambda, click on Lambda, click on create function, choose author from the scratch, give it in a name. So we'll give it a name, uh, Dynamo DB load, select the runtime. That will be, we will select Python 3.8. Architecture, we keep it to default. And for execution role, uh, we need to have an IAM role for this Lambda function, which have permissions to read data from S3 and write to DynamoDB. So I already created the role. Let me select that role and I'll show you which services we need to so let me select this Lambda DynamoDB. This is a role. And let me show you the policies are attached to this role. So there are three policies, as I mentioned. A couple of them was like, we need a read permission from S3. We can see Amazon uh, S3 read only. And we need a write permission. So instead of write permission, I give the full access. And when you have full access, you can write the, uh, you, you get the write permissions automatically and Lambda execute. So we can uh, see our logs in uh, CloudWatch and other, un like, and it also help us with other necessary services which Lambda need. Okay, once we selected our appropriate role, we click on create function, okay. Now we have our function here. Let's add a trigger. We can click on it here, search for S, type S3. We select our bucket, a bucket is this. Even type, we'll keep it uh, the default, like which is basically when we upload the file, like when, whenever we create an object. So in this case, we will be uploading. Uh, we are not putting any prefix or suffix. We acknowledge it. Click on add. 
now we have our trigger successfully added to the style of my TV. Now let's write the lambda function. We go and click on code and so here you see uh, like a default code which generally comes whenever we are writing a Python lambda function. Uh, so to write our code I already have uh, written the code so I will simply copy paste it directly and let and let uh, understand what does this code does. So let me first copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to put the and uh, let's click on deploy. So our changes are deployed here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the link of uh, this uh, link of the GitHub where this code is available. Let's try to understand what this code does. So let me zoom in a bit. Okay. So here you can see the first three lines. The script start by importing, which is a like a normal process, like a normal way to start our scripts in Python. So we are importing JSON, Boto3, and Decimal. JSON is to handle the JSON data, Boto3, which allow, it's a Python uh, SDK, which allow us to interact with AWS services. And Decimal, uh, in the line number three, you can see from Decimal, we import uh, Decimal, it's to import uh, decimal which is necessary to handle float numbers in DynamoDB. So DynamoDB it doesn't work really well with float numbers. So if we are loading a data which contains float number, we need to convert them into decimal. That's why we're importing it. Uh, the next is the uh, Lambda handler. So it is the main entry point for the Lambda functions which require two parameters, event and context. Event is basically contains uh, triggering event information. So in this case, the information related to the JSON file upload into S3 and content and context is basically contain the runtime information. And after that, if you look from here to here, we extract the S3 bucket name. Look at the line number six. We extract the S3 bucket name from the event and in line number seven, we basically extract the object information, which is the JSON in this case. And after that, we are simply printing both these values. And now from here to here, now let's set up S3 client and Dynamo, uh, DynamoDB client. So you can look at this using Boto3, which is a AWS Python SDK. We are setting S3 client and similar, we are doing it for DynamoDB. And uh, uh, S3 client allow us to access the, like we are, why we setting this? We, it allow us to access the JSON file while DynamoDB allow us to interact with the tables and you can uh, do the table and here we will providing, uh, like, we are pro like we are fetching the table information uh, to which we want to upload our data. So you can look at this. So car plate number info, which was our uh, uh, the DynamoDB table name, we are storing it in a variable. After that, in our try and uh, in our try block, what we are trying to do here is uh, in our try block, we we using the get object from the S3 client to retrieve the JSON object from the S3 bucket and using the JSON.loads method uh, to convert the, the JSON data which we got from S3 into, uh, into a Python, uh, into the list of uh, a Python dictionary data type and uh, and we are using the parse float equal to decimal as i was mentioning if a json data contains float like a dynamo db does not work really well with float 
data types, we need to convert them into decimal. This is what exactly we are doing here. And anything in the JSON file as a float, we are converting them into uh, into the uh, decimal type. And after that, we are basically inserting the our JSON data into DynamoDB. And for that, uh, we are using the batch writer to efficiently write uh, multiple items in a single call and here we basically it iterates through the json data and you can look from here like it's basically iterates through the json data and put them one by one like put item is to put them into dynamo db uh, table and once we run the and after that like we are returning like if it is successful like we will get data uh, successfully loaded into DynamoDB. Otherwise, if it throws an error, we will uh, we will get the like information related to the error. The status code will be 500 and more info related to the error. Let's go to our Lambda function. Let's deploy now. Now, let's uh, upload the JSON file into S3 because as we know, Lambda is a trigger driven function so it will uh, it will run only when a tr like when an event happened before that there is one more thing i want you guys to keep in like it to make a change which i already did but like go to your configurations in general settings you if you look at your timeout it will it it should be to the default three seconds please change it to uh like make it bigger than that so i set it to four minutes but you can do it to two minutes or whatever works for you but uh, because generally three seconds is too small and most of the applications get uh time out now let's go to s3 upload our file let's go to our bucket what's this we'll upload our json file here add file click on upload and as soon as we upload the lambda function will trigger which we can see in our cloud watch let me refresh this it might take a couple of seconds you can see now it's here and it's triggered at this hour we click here and okay awesome this is done so what we can do now the next we go and check in our dynamodb table do we have items or not let's refresh this and you can see we have items in dynamodb table so when we created this dynamodb table there was nothing now we have all these items from our json file so our json was something like this license number and all this information and similar kind of uh one second if we can see this like you can see the same information is available here the license number address date all those kind of geolocation and all this information is available here okay awesome or we can look into the json form so you can see all this information uh in our dynamodb table so that's all uh, for loading the uh, DynamoDB using uh, Lambda function. Let me go back to my code one more time. Uh, that's all for this video. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And thank you for watching and happy learning.